All right, guys, what's going on? Justin from 79th Productions, and today we are going to be getting some work done on the Mustang, and actually in this video we're going to be getting a lot of work done. But uh, before we get to that, guys, just wanted to let you know a lot of you guys have been messaging me, asking me where I am, if I'm all right. Well, here's what's been going on. So about three months ago, I was moving from shop to shop in here, and uh, it's actually only about six units down and yeah i was moving fr from unit to unit in here and i was moving all these engines i got about six seven engines two cars and a bunch of stuff and i twist my ankle and hurt my ankle pretty bad and went to the doctor they said nothing was broken but they said stay off of it for about a month and i kept coming back trying to work on it trying to do things so something that should have healed in a month kind of took like two and a half months so that's what's been going on and that's why i haven't really been working on the cars but now it's a lot better my ankle's a lot better and we're going to be getting uh a lot more done now and yeah so that's why i haven't been putting up videos but uh we're going to get into this video now and i hope you guys enjoy it
you know I'm too generous Now I've learned to never help you out Cause I'm done cleaning up your mess Found myself in my regrets I've become a little stronger now A little stronger now
guys, here we go. We painted the engine, it looks great. We went with Ford Blue. Now, the primer paint and clear coat, I used one can of each, that was 20 bucks to do this. Uh, they were on sale for, I believe, $6 a piece. And uh, yeah, so it was 20 bucks to do this. I bought some spark plugs, they were two bucks a piece. Oil filter was five bucks. And then the bung was another three bucks. And the gasket I think was about 10 or 15 bucks for the oil pan. But guys, we just welded this on because I'm probably gonna end up going with a uh, turbo on this engine. Now, a lot of people, I haven't seen too many people boost these inline six, but hopefully we'll have some fun doing it, putting like a cheap eBay turbo on it. So that's the route we're gonna go with this. Now, everything between buying the engine, the gaskets, the paint, I believe it was under, it was about from $200 to $225. We got the engine and transmission bolted down. This thing is in there. Super excited about this. It was pretty hard to do this by myself, but I got it done. And right now that everything's bolted down, I'm gonna go through and put on the starter, the exhaust manifold, and the uh, carburetor, and we're gonna try to get this thing started soon. behind your back Chase the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows Going so we're just gonna fill up we're gonna top off the fluids and we are gonna get ready to fire this thing up and 
Hopefully it runs the way it should. All right guys, so we're just gonna pour some uh, gas in the carburetor. We don't want this thing to run long. We got everything, run, uh, we got the coil direct to the power and Jesse's just gonna tap this off right now and we're gonna see if it fires up. This is the first fire up. Super excited about this and uh, we're gonna try to get this thing going right now. All right, guys, I'm super excited about this thing. I just took it on a drive. Man, wow, it's come such a long way in such a short time. And we still got a lot of things to do, but so far we're, we're doing the big things that, you know, we're knocking out, we knocked out the floor pans and that was one of the biggest problems with this car. Like there's so much rust in the floor pans and that's done, so everything else should move a little bit quicker now as of right now i have about a thousand dollars into the car bought the car for 250 i got about 225 into the floor pans i got about 225 to 250 into buying the engine painting it getting the gasket for it and you know another 150 into buying the wheels for a hundred dollars the adapters as it sits right now i got about a thousand to eleven hundred dollars into it maybe a little bit less so we we've made some progress on this car and i'm super excited about it there is something after i put the engine in i realized something and i gotta do this i'll show you guys it now but when i put the the oil pan bung in the I wanted to put a turbo when I put the, the drain line bung in. So when I put that in, I didn't realize it, but the uh, the little nub on the inside, it the one that I got, it's, it's for one that you could screw on on the inside and kind of seal it up that way, but I ended up welding it on. But that is sticking out too far in the end of the uh, crankshaft, like the big end of the crankshaft, is is tapping it i thought i was hearing a knock and it ended up being that so i mean it's not a big deal i just got to take off the uh oil pan and grind that down and put the oil pan back on but i'm just i was super excited that that's all it was hopefully it didn't do anything we're gonna drain the oil out pull the pan out and uh get that fixed and we should be good to go but guys into this car yeah i'm about a, i'm at about a thousand bucks into it and right now we're gonna put the doors back on we're gonna put the windshield on and i'm going to start making a dashboard for it so we got some more stuff to do but we're gonna get all that done and i'm super excited about it but that's it guys i'm gonna wrap this video up here Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at 79thProductions. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you guys.